here's a little project. We're familiar with the Gravely wheelbarrow. Here's a project that uh, I figured I'd try, inspired by another uh, YouTube uh, fellow there that I subscribe to, Pocket 83 Squared. Seemed like a pretty good idea, and uh, let's go take a look. How about that? Gravely wheelbarrow. A little different than the ones we're familiar with. For once, the project went absolutely flawless. It couldn't have gone better. Over here, all I did was take the, uh, the existing bolts out, put a longer bolt in, accommodated the Gravely L handle. Patina is absolutely a perfect match. Same thing with the other side. A piece of uh, threaded rod. Didn't have to drill any holes where it mounts right to the engine. A piece of threaded rod, and it catches right in the right spot. The only complaint I would have is that it, uh, the handles are a little bit far apart for uh, using it comfortably. Instead of removing the tongue, basically what I did was reversed it. So everything's still intact, everything is still on the, uh, still on a piece of equipment itself. And even the, uh, the dump latch still works, if you so desire. And there it is, all stored. There's the hitch stored underneath. Now this is version one. I have another another version in mind is to get those handles just a little closer together so you get your uh, your load just directly underneath your shoulders. Still equipped with the throttle, choke for cold starts. Want to give it a try? Let's give it a try. Gravely wheelbarrow. Yeah. That tire's a little flat, don't pay any attention to that. Version 1, Gravely Wheelbarrow. We'll see how she fares. Stay tuned for version Okay, two. there's the makings of version 2. That's why we save this stuff. It isn't hoarding if your uh, stuff is cool, or what you can make out of it is cool. Stay tuned. Okay, as promised, version 2.0, Gravely Wheelbarrow. Ready? obviously too wide so here's the handles from either a uh, commercial 12 or a pro 8 I'm not sure they're tucked in a little bit I did have to drill some holes on this one well, they mounted originally down there no problem but I drilled some holes but as you can see here it's got holes in it anyways so what's a couple more let the water drain out. So, a little narrow, fits my narrow hips. Even left the controls for forwards, reverse. Still function once it's running. Bye. Ready for a little test? Definitely more comfortable. A little heavy in the tail end here. I'm thinking about uh, version 3.0, just losing that one. too shabby. More of a novelty than anything else, but I think it'll work. Yeah, so much for version 2.0. Stay tuned for 3.0. Well, there it is. Version 3.0. Took off the hitch. Believe it or not, that was 32 pounds. 32 pounds on a tail end. It's significant. Pretty much like everything they built, everything's pretty Pretty sturdy and uh, robust. And the half inch and drawbars, two pieces of half inch, plus a pretty, pretty heavy schedule pipe there. So 32 pounds we lost. It's actually balanced pretty nice. The only thing left to do is devise some type of stand for it. And try to find something gravely in the uh, bone yard to uh, to apply to it. We'll see what we come up with. Suggestions always welcome. And if I really wanted to tweak it, probably take the torch to these bends and just extend them out just a little bit. 
for some wider hips, just in case. Anyways, there it is, Gravely Wheelbarrow.